Welcome to this edition of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. The screen zoomed in, didn't it? It did. Did I hit that? We look bigger. <laughs> we look bigger. <laughs> Matt Simon, Chuck Rowland. We are trying two products that I have put off for a very, very long time. This is Trader Joe's Pumpkin Butter and Chipotle Pumpkin Salsa. Wow, you thought you were done with the pumpkin flavored yeah. things. We are <laughs> back, bitch. We are, we are far from November. These have been sitting here for a long time, but they're, they're both good forever. Like, this is good well into 2016, oh, all right. this salsa. And this one's good uh, halfway through 2015. So they're both, they're both ripe, ripe and ready to be All right. Yeah. How young would you go? Give me a legit number. I don't want any of this bullshit. 18 business. Um, 21. Good answer. <laughs> I mean, I was, you gotta be able to drink. I don't want to like have to like go on a date. I was and waiting you're... for you to be like, yeah, 14. That rule. <laughs> I was gonna be like pedophile. <laughs> yeah, I got, we gotta be out to like have some drinks. Not like we're at we're on a date at Chuck E. Cheese. I'm drinking while you're playing in like, the bull pit. When yeah. I was single before I met bull Lori, pit. ball pit. <laughs> before I met Lori, I was dating. I was dating a lot. Like I was a part of like the dating website and stuff. And worst things ever are the dating websites. That is just like, it's hell on earth. That, that is full of like whores and women that want to get a meal and not put out. So it's like the complete opposite of the spectrum. But I never, I, I ended up meeting like a lot of more younger girls and a lot of more like 18, 19. I have nothing in common with 18, 19 year olds. <laughs> like you'd be like, you're, you're really hot. You're very attractive, but I, hate you. <laughs> I hate them so much. They just had nothing in common with you. And everything that you're talking and saying is bullshit. <laughs> I, I hate it so much. And I wish you would just go away. <laughs> or get naked. I'm not sure. Either one. <laughs> one or the other. One or the other. So what would pumpkin salsa taste like? I'm just going to. All right. Hey, real quick. Let me do it. It's weird. Yeah. I don't get pumpkin. I get no. salsa. Yeah, it's like a it's like a weird version of salsa. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> they eat that. That's the pumpkin right there. That's Tom's cat. Tom's cat is named Pumpkin. You know, we have a lot of fans that don't even know who Old Man Tom is. <laughs> <laughs> they have no Ooh. idea. It's good. It's just not what I expected. Yeah, I mean, it's just like regular salsa, really. Um, it's weird though. It has a hint of brown. A <laughs> hint of brown. The color um, brown. I want to say a hint of SpaghettiOs, the sauce. <laughs> yeah. It's, it has nothing to do with pumpkin. I get nothing pumpkin out of this. Oh, this always makes me laugh. One of the reason why I bought this, the main reason is going to make you laugh. I thought of uh, Bailey. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's made by Chef Rick Bayless. And I was like, oh, ba ba Bailey. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, this isn't bad. I, I mean, it's better, way better than I expected. Yeah. If it was pumpkin flavored, I'd probably be grossed out. Hey, hey, we're I'm still ready. eating it. Yeah, I'm not for what it is. All right, I agree with you though. It has a spaghetti o hint to it. Yeah. It's very like saucy. It's good. I'd give it a four. I would try this again. Like if I went to a restaurant and they had this, sure. I would, I'd keep going. It's good. I agree. It's a four. All right. Company, man. <laughs> Pumpkin butter. Trader Joe's, what do you think? If it's anything like apple butter, it can't be that bad. Ah, oh, I got it. Ooh, pumpkin pie. It's gonna be like pumpkin pie extract. Oh, he's he's getting up. Oh, Ziggler. Yeah, he's just adjusting. Back down he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at us like, F you. <laughs> pumpkin butter. Probably shouldn't be doing this with uh, chips. <laughs> Maybe that's not the best solution to this problem. Well, what would you do it with? I think this would go on like sandwiches. Uh, sandwiches right. and stuff, yeah. yeah. All right. Mm. It's too sweet. Huh? I don't think it's too sweet. Huh? I think it's the right amount of sweet. That is very sweet though. Very, very sweet. That might be good on a sandwich. Mixed with maybe some like peanut butter, like do a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, be doing like a peanut butter and pumpkin butter sandwich, I guess. Just weird. I don't know, like they were trying to infuse the pumpkin flavor into a lot of things last year that just had yeah. no business being pumpkin flavored whatsoever. Next year, or this year, it's going to be much cooled down because a lot of the problem I saw was that you'd go back into these stores in like January and they still had the stuff sitting there. Yeah. Nobody bought it. Nobody bought it. 
I mean, it's just, well, it's, 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 it's nothing different than like the uh, apple butter. The apple butter has a sweetness to it. Of course. No. You're gross. No. I, give that, I guess I give it like a low three, but it's definitely not something that I would seek out on my own. I give it a middle of the road three. It's still, it's still pretty good for what it is. It's not completely gross. It's not the best. Yeah. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of there. It's below average Mike Sanders WCW. <laughs> <laughs> that was his gimmick. So there you go. Uh, Trader Joe's pumpkin butter. You'll have to wait until next year to get. Chipotle pumpkin salsa. You'll also have to wait until next year to get. Mad Zion for Chuck Rollins. salsa Rollin. would be the, uh, the better buy. It is better. We'll see you next time. Reckless eating. Reckless eating.